Well, that's a lovely welcome. I mean, I do live here, don't I? You're not usually home on Friday nights. Unpredictable. It's part of the charm. What's wrong with you? Nothing. How about a bit of a smile then? Done. That's the best you can do. I'm going to watch the box. Chuck us a bottle over in a glass, will ya? I wasn't expecting you home, so I haven't cooked any tea. Why don't you go have a can of tea with the boys? Nah. Nah, just knock us up a bit of steak, love. Why don't you go have a can of tea with the boys? I said just knock us up a bit I can't! I can't. I'm only. Would you look at that? You are only. Something must be wrong with you. And, uh, well, I don't notice anything in my head. Well, I shouldn't complain. Last time your item on my shirts was two days before we were married. Why don't you go to a canopy with the boys? What is this? Are you trying to get rid of me? Jeez. A bloke decides to do the right thing and come home to his missus. And you're no sooner in the door trying to get rid of him. Are you wrong with another bloke? Is that what this is about? Of course not. Of course not. Hey. And who's underpants are these? They're yours. They're not mine. Don't be stupid. They're not even my size. They're 34s. These are... <laughs> right on. <laughs> the pay your mother bought you. She knocked us up a bit of steak. Go have a counter tea. Get out in the kitchen, open up the fridge, get out a piece of sliced towel, and put it under the grill of your Go least. have a counter tea. No! <laughs> you want to be so damn coming in here? She's that too bloody lazy. Lazy cow. What are these? <laughs> I can see that you dumb twit. What are they bloody all here for? As if we've got enough mess in this house already. <laughs> the supermarket was getting rid of them. I thought they might come in handy. Handy for what? For Sophie to play with. I hope you're joking. She built houses and stuff. For She'll rip them up like she ripped on my bloody car, man. <laughs> Those were EH manuals. You can't get your hands on them anymore. I was always good. She has an out of her. Always gonna have a bit of a play. I'm sorry. You know, I always have a voice to do that. You're never home on a Friday night. That old cow's not gonna pop that pork in full of social graces. Don't be stupid. Last time she was around, she kept saying, Thank you, please. Like a little parrot, to a straight room. <laughs> For goodness sake, will you go down to the pub and get me? <laughs> anyway, let's not argue. Oh, I didn't come home to argue, did I? How about watching some television? <laughs> Come on. Might develop into something. I'm not in the mood. Well, you were last night. Yeah, and then you bashed me up straight afterwards. Well, it wasn't straight afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and it was about something completely different. Well, I didn't hit you that hard, did I? Well, it hardly inspired confidence when you made love to me one moment and then bashed me up the next. Look, I've been warning you about the kitchen tidy for two days now. 
Why didn't you just empty it out yourself? That's your job! I don't understand how a mother could let a kitchen get in that state when she's got a daughter whose health might be in danger. What, Rob? <laughs> Apart from anything else, that bloody thing stunk. Maybe I will go down a blind path.